Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, Triumph Stag Mark II, three litre manual overdrive that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Um, I hope you like them. Okay, quick view of start up and idling on this uh, Stag. Hot start there and uh, idling nicely. And now we'll show you under the bonnet. Stag 3 litre V8 there. Just idling away very nicely and sounding nice even at idle. I'll go around the other side and show you the other side. Just doing what it's supposed to do. No funny noises, no funny smells, just performing the way it should. There we go. Okay, let's take this uh, Triumph Stag Mark II 3 litre manual overdrive for a spin. Um, showing 93,000 miles, and I haven't been through the history yet, but it's absolutely massive, so um, quite likely to be correct, but I'll, uh, I'll say that in the description if I think so. So, um, all light brake is ignition light comes up as it should one slight irritant the fasten belts light um, does flicker a lot when you're driving obviously the little micro switch in the uh, in the belt housing down here is proper old 70s technology and is um, is playing up I'd be tempted to take the bulb out but I'm kind of loath to do that really but um, that is a slight annoyance Starts beautifully, starts well whether it's hot or cold this one. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. Actually seems to be engine wise, it seems to be absolutely lovely, it really does. Anyway, it's a lovely warm day here today and nice and sunny so I've got the hood down. Off we go. These uh, Stag 3 litre V8 engines do sound nice and this is no exception, it sounds beautiful. So yeah, fantastic engine on it, clutch and gearbox, nice, no um, synchro issues or gearbox whine or anything. This one's got power steering. Um, it's actually incredibly rattle free, certainly with the hood down. Um, if you can hear any rattling, it's coming from the camera mount itself because the uh, vehicle itself is completely solid and rattle free. All the instruments in front of me are all working. There's a lot of instruments in this. You've got a voltmeter, temperature gauge. Um, yeah, voltmeter, temperature gauge. Tracks nice and straight. Just a really pleasant classic car. wise absolutely spot on as well it's obviously got servo brakes on it so I think there we have it it drives beautifully it really does yeah, that, if I move my seatbelt about the, uh, the buckle end, the, the little fasten belts light does go out, but it's clearly got 
a, uh, a micro switch issue on that. Anyway, British 70s uh, electrics for you. There we go.